Good evening and welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. I'm sure you're wondering, what's that monstrosity on your cheek, Jack? Well, the answer is that I had a fight with a garden step and actually fell into a fence. So, you know, accidents happen, but we move on. So first up today, Sevilla president Jose Castro has said that they're working on a deal to bring Fazio back to the club in January. Now, obviously, I know that you're all extremely happy with that news. I know I am. So hopefully that deal will end up going through in the new year. And I'm sure, you know, we're all just waiting, counting down the, top, uh, the seconds until that happens. We know we've got Kevin Vimmer waiting in the wings in case one of the two Belgian bromances get injured. So fingers crossed, Fazio goes in January. Next up, Paul Mitchell is repeatedly, repeatedly scouting Birmingham winger Demarai Gray. Now, Steve Bruce, the whole manager, has said that he's probably the best young talent in the country. Now, I'm not too sure if Steve Bruce has seen Deli Ali playing football recently, but we're pretty sure that it's him. But if Demarai Gray is as good as Steve Bruce says, then, you know, I'm all for bringing a player like that in. I've not seen too much of him, but he's rated at about seven and a half million pounds. Uh, last year, they were, they were saying he was about 20 million quid, which I think is just a, a monstrosity of amount of money. Latest valuation of him is £3.75 million. So that seems a little bit more realistic. Who knows, with add-ons and whatever, Levy might sort something out if that does end up happening. Is he a player that you would like at the club? Do you know much about Gray? Let us know in the comments section below. Third up today, uh, former Denmark goalkeeper Thomas Sorensen has said that Christian Eriksen is happy at Tottenham and will not look for a move away from Spurs if we get Champions League football at the end of the season. He also said that he doesn't see him moving next summer. So that's brilliant news for us. Obviously, Spurs have to get uh, do their part of the deal by getting Champions League football at the end of the season. Is it something we can do? I'm hoping that we can. You know, we're in the top four now at Christmas. Can we keep uh, in the top four till the end of the season? Looking at the way that we're playing, if we keep the wins coming like we did against Southampton, then who knows? We get through Christmas and towards the sort of after the Christmas period, who knows? We can get top four football. So maybe Ericsson will stay at the club. Fingers crossed. And that's it for today's 7 O'Clock Spurs. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't follow us on Twitter, follow us at Spurred on TV. And if you aren't subscribed, why the hell not? Make sure you do it. Come on, you Spurs. Yo, it's your boy, Ro Ricketts. Great to be here on Spurred on TV. I'm going to give you a rundown of the top five players I played with when I was at Tottenham Hotspurs. Let's go. 